This segment of Packer Pokes At was made possible by patrons of the show and viewers like you. Please go to patreon.com slash Packer Pokes At to help support the show. Thank you. Because there's nothing but death and refuse in the rectum. The, no life can come out of the rectum. The rectum is designed to get rid of death and waste. That's demonic, everybody. It is absolutely demonic. Yeah, that would be Pastor James David Manning. That was just on the uh, audio clip there. His Harlem church is come up under sale because the fact is that he has not paid over $1 million in back fees. I don't know if these are taxes or whatever, but he has past bills that are estimated over a million dollars. And he's going on to say that he's not going to let the gay people be able to buy his church because the LGBT community is trying to get the money together right now to buy up that property if it goes into foreclosure, which it's most likely going to happen. And I hope that they are able to buy that church because he's going off saying that there's no way gay people are ever going to get in here or whatever. This is the same guy that he's thought about homosexuality. There are some great clips on YouTube. You can find them. Uh, mostly on TYT, where he's talking about where he got interviewed by them, and he, he's like, yeah, I thought about it, but I resisted. Yeah, right. <laughs> Just come out, man. I don't usually say this to like the people like him because he is a closeted gay man. He just doesn't want to admit it. And the fact that he is possibly going to get kicked out of his own church, I find hilarious. Connie, your thoughts? It's over water um, and sewage bills, uh, sewer bills. These are, granted, you know, New York State allows, it's like $186,000 for a you know, church, to, his church to be tax exempt. Mm -hmm. That's fine. But he's not paying, he's not paying the utility bills. And uh, there's like nine different t federal tax liens that began in like 2002, mm -hmm. totaling over $355,000. Wow. Uh, yeah. So, um, and he's like saying, well, I shouldn't have to pay those. You know, this is a church. <laughs> uh, no, yeah. it no, it doesn't work that way. It doesn't work that way. So, and actually, uh, shall we remind him of Mark 12? 17, render under Caesar. What when it belongs to Caesar. Caesar. Right. <laughs> so. Yeah, uh, and the LGBT advocate, adv advocate groups are definitely trying to buy the building, um, mm -hmm. and they've raised over a hundred thousand dollars in like three days. Um, I think that uh, Godless Geezer in his video today said they had raised raised a hundred and eighty thousand. Wow! Now one of those is a LGBT inclusive church called River of Life uh, Living Water Ministries. And uh, the other one, though, the bigger one, is the Ali Forne Center for Homeless LGBT Youth. Oh. And uh, that's what they want to turn, that's what they would like to turn it into. But they're not the only uh, gay, you know, positive LGBT uh, group that wants to buy this property. Uh, with, the, yeah, this, this man who's so in denial that <laughs> Egypt's like, we want a river back, right? So, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> He has said the most outrageous things. Yeah, <laughs> and I just, I, I listened to the uh, the video of his um his sermon where he's going on and on about how you're not going to get my church. And, and he's got he some just, he's got some woman there now. Before he's just like talking. Now he's got oh yeah else oh yeah else oh yeah else oh yeah else. How much well, how much he's paying her? Oh yeah, he's probably not. <laughs> Can't afford it. <laughs> She's recounting their sexual encounter. <laughs> <laughs> They'd be going, oh, how disappointing. Oh, how disappointing. <laughs> exactly. Oh, how disappointing. <laughs> Apparently, he had uh, until April of 2015 to pay, start paying down his debt, but he failed to do that. Yeah. So the judge said, you know what? Fuck you. We're going into, you're going into foreclosure. And the auction is scheduled for February 24th of this year. Dana, your thoughts? Yeah, that uh, tirade about... Uh... <laughs> <laughs> have have uh, gay men carrying semen, uh, head carrying uh, babies around in their testicles and having yep. them shoot out of their anuses. Um, <laughs> when when I hear about men carrying babies around in their testicles, I I, I th some for some reason I think of seahorses. <laughs> <laughs> 
well, the males do give, do carry the 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 babies. It's like, why don't you just call that one the female? No, it's the male. <laughs> okay, whatever. Yeah. So, uh, my only response to uh, Pastor James David Manning, which actually, for all intents and purposes, his middle name should start with S, but. Um, <laughs> Uh, my only response to him would be, um, until you can pull a mortgage out of your ass, the gay <laughs> banks will be able to foreclose on your property. <laughs> I'm a servant of the Lord. <laughs> and that video also, he's saying, and hey, men have got to give birth out of their anus. I'm like, out of your what? I'm sorry, do you not understand how, you know, biology works? Uh, just because someone puts... The argument is, mm. is it? I will stay in this. I will stay in this church. It's the Lord's house until men are able to have babies, raise babies in their testicles, and give birth through their anus. <laughs> yes, yes. Which, uh, I guess he's going to be in his own mind. He's going to be in that church for a long time. He's going to die in that church, or at least he's going to attempt to. You know. Wait, maybe he's wanting the gays to take it over because then he can give in to those urges that he has. <laughs> He'll be in there secretly later on going, yeah, no one's going to recognize me over here. Oh, hey, how you doing? <laughs> this, this is the same Pastor James David Manning who claimed that um, Starbucks was putting semen in the, in the cappuccino. <laughs> <laughs> because, and I quote, they like the taste of it. <laughs> How would he know? I'm just, I'm just kind of curious why he th thinks that. You know? Yeah, I think, uh, I think Anna from Young Turks actually asked him that exact same question. Uh huh. <laughs> you know, there are some people that like the taste of semen. I mean, hey, you know, whatever. But I don't think that would be really good in coffee. I'm just saying. You know, it would probably be salty or whatever. <laughs> Sticky. Sticky. Although there's there have been people that put uh, that into people's drinks where they don't know about it, and well, we've covered that here on the show too. So <laughs> I wonder what that would look like in oh, the back. Of that's the a felony. <laughs> that would be a felony. Yes, that's what he doesn't understand. They can't do this. They can't legally do this. Can't legally sell semen in people's coffee. It's just not done. I mean, that white creamy stuff. That's called creamer. Just because you call it a creamer when it comes out your dick doesn't mean it's going in your coffee. Now I'm thinking about that old, uh, was it Sanka commercial? He never has seconds at home. <laughs> well played. <laughs> oh, no. We've switched his regular coffee with Starbucks coffee. Let's see if he can tell the difference. It's a very unusual little design on the top of my That's, <laughs> frappuccino. Yeah, my frappuccino seems that? to be hmm, seems to be a little uh -huh. a little chewier today for some reason. <laughs> oh, <God. laughs> oh, I hope this guy goes away. I'm I'm seriously hope that they are able to buy out this building and at, at least get him out of the neighborhood because he is, he's a menace. He he's he is fucking crazy.